Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This video is going to provide a ton of value, so make sure you sit there, you're ready to learn, and let's jump into it. So as you can see by the title of this video, this one's gonna to relate to a lot of you, and it's talking about how trading will make you feel like an outsider. I guarantee you, if you're new on this journey right now, this will fit you as the months go on, as the year goes on. And if you're someone like myself, you found consistency in the markets, this video is gonna hit very, very close to home for you, and it's like a beautiful reflection video because Trading is very, very difficult. It's not just learning the craft that's the difficult part, it's everything that comes along with it, right? And in this video, I'm gonna to touch on a certain topics, reflecting back on my journey, and hopefully you can relate to some of them. Essentially, trading goes against the society norms, right? It completely goes against the society norms. It's not your typical nine to five route or anything of that nature. People tend to challenge it or put it down uh, mainly because of two reasons. Reason A is they wish they could do it. That's a big one that I've gotten in the past. Um, maybe they tried trading before and they didn't succeed. Maybe they tried different type of business and didn't succeed, but they just put it down automatically because it it's outside of their, their horizons of things they can accomplish. The second one is they're just simply not educated enough. So they just simply don't know anything about trading. And when they hear anything that isn't, you know, school, or you know, a nine to five job, they just automatically kind of shell up and put it down. It's also extremely lonely. So most people won't understand what you're going through. The same issues that we have as traders, most people are just not experiencing and you can't really blame them at the end of the day. They simply just can't understand it. So for example, if my parents ask how my day is and I say, great day, you know, lost 2K this morning, they'd probably have a stroke or they'd be like, oh my God, what happened? You know what I mean? Meanwhile, it's only 1% loss. So things like that, you know, things that we are completely okay with, other people are just not, right? And and I find you can't talk about your trading problems with people who don't trade because they simply just don't get it. And you're gonna get pushback, you're gonna get, you know, mixed emotions back when essentially you're just sticking to your plan and it's just a normal day for you, right? And I guess that just, that goes with a lot of things. I mean, sometimes just keeping it to yourself or saving it for your trader friends or maybe you're in a community, maybe, you know, you have a couple of trading buddies who do trade. That's who, you know, you can talk about these problems with. But, you know, I even used to share everything with my fiance, you know, when I'd have a bad day. And I realized that it would affect her sometimes because she's not the one trading, right? So hearing that I lost or maybe I'm on a losing streak, it affects people more than it affects us just simply because they just don't know, right? So that's a lesson that I've learned is just kind of keep it to yourself because most people just simply aren't gonna understand it. It's also just extremely lonely in the sense that it's just you, it's just us and the charts. Yes, you have mentorships, yes, you have communities, yes, you have other trader friends, but at the end of the day, it's just us on these charts, putting the work in day and night, right? Countless early mornings, countless late nights, at the end of the day, your mentor's not putting the work in for you, I'm not putting the work in for you, you know, your, your, your trading buddies aren't putting the work in for you. It's just you. And it can be extremely lonely. I mean, especially the late nights. The late nights and waking up for London session for me were so lonely because no one was awake. But at the same time, there was a sense of peace with that because you are just in flow with the markets. You're just learning a skill and, and succeeding or trying to succeed at something that no one around you is successful at or most people don't succeed at, right? Like. 90% of people fail at trading. So when you start to understand it and you start to become consistent, you're within that 10%, which is awesome. It's a cool feeling. But that loneliness chapter, so it goes away in the sense that you're not doing those crazy late nights or early mornings anymore because you've learned and you understand and you just, you know what you have to do each day. It's not much, uh, there's no more discovery really. But the other part that stays kind of lonely is, you know, like I talked about, keeping your trading problems to yourself um, and just dealing with your internal battles that comes with being a trader. Another thing that really affected me, and this is a realization that I had, is you start to see the world for what it is. One thing that happened to me, and I'm not sure if you guys can relate to, is I started to literally just see the world for how it is and how it truly works. I started to see how big of a trap the nine to five, you know, job is, or how bad the, and how big of a trap the school system is, and just how we've pretty much been lied to our whole lives. You know, we're conditioned from a young age, go to school, you know, go get a job, go retire at the age of 60. Reading the markets honestly tells us like a global macro perspective of what's gonna happen as well. So, you know, when these countries start going through tough times, we already know just by looking at the charts and, and looking at the inflation rates and all the other metrics, we see all this stuff before any crappy news outlet posts about it, right? So 
we understand what the the unemployment numbers mean you know like we understand all these things that you know if you weren't a trader ignorance is bliss right you're just simply not aware of all these things all these metrics that are showing if a country's doing crappy or if if something bad is going to happen in the economy like we know all of it so it's a blessing and a curse because i'm grateful because i can see everything and i see the world for what it is but at the same time it does make you feel a little bit lonely because not everyone is going to share that viewpoint around you uh at least not at first i mean you can get a friend group of people you can get a group of friends that believe in the same thing as you and that's great and you will meet people that do believe in the same things as you along the way and that's great that's what's happened to me but that loneliness chapter is going to only get amplified by you know you understanding how things work in the world person you become when you become a consistent trader has a completely different mind than the person that doesn't trade it's not even close because of the things we have to do retrain our mind go against our human emotions all the time you almost become numb to things like i find myself just not as emotional in general about anything sometimes you know i i i don't get worried or i don't care about things that just i probably normally would have before just simply due to the the beat down that trading brought me and just having a strong you know a strong grasp on my mental right and and i'm grateful for that because i'm just not a super emotional person whereas before i would be you just start to pay attention to everything like i said and you start to realize that true success in this world comes from betting on yourself and kind of going out and doing things your way you know what i mean like taking initiative and going out and and you know becoming an entrepreneur becoming self-dependent and just not you know, falling into that trap that we were told growing up. I just simply find it impossible to look at the world and look at things the same way as before you were a trader. I just find it literally impossible. And it's a great thing, it's a great thing. If you're not there yet, you will be. And I promise you, you're gonna understand everything that I'm talking about. So yeah, trading is going to make you feel like an outcast, but that's okay, it's a good thing. Because an outcast means you are not society norms. You're not normal. Most people, normal isn't good. Okay, like most people are obese. Most people are broke. Most people end up in divorce. Like when you look at what the average is for, for being a normal citizen, it's not great. So who cares if you feel, if, if you're outside of the norms, right? It's a good thing. That's the way I look at it completely. Um, and trading has honestly changed my life and it's changed the lives of the people around me that trade as well and it's just, it's enlightened me to a whole new version of myself that I'm extremely proud of and a version of me that just simply wasn't there, you know, five years ago. And it's just amazing. And if you're on this journey, I promise you, the lonely chapter is worth it. Being lonely with this game is worth it because the pros that come from this and the mindset you're gonna develop and the skill set that you're gonna develop will carry on with you forever. And it's just, just an amazing thing and I'm just super, super grateful. So. Remember, it's okay to be different. It's okay to feel like an outcast because in this game, in the game of life, an outcast is a good thing here. And you got me, you got other traders in the community that are rooting with you. You got people in the comments, you got other people on this grind with you. And you don't really feel like an outcast because you're surrounded by people who are doing the same thing as you and have the same mission as you, goals, aspirations. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little sit down video. I really, really do. Please drop a like on this video, drop a comment as well, talking about something you enjoyed and uh, subscribe if you're new. And what do I say at the end of every single video? Let's be 1% better every single day. I appreciate you all and I'll see you in the next one.